Today, we are going to be showing you 10 of our favorite things to do right here in Asakusa. So Asakusa is one of the most popular places to visit in Tokyo. There's lots of street food, there's so much to do. Today, we want to show you 10 of our favorite things to do here in Asakusa. And because this is Tabi Eats, we're obviously going to add in some food. Anyway, let's get started. So of course, first you should visit Sensoji. Sensoji is the oldest temple in Kanto area. Through the famous Kaminari Mon, you can see Nakamise Street. You can see lots of lots of souvenir shops, street food shops. At the end of this Nakamise Street, you can go to Sensoji. And I know this place is super touristy, but everyone likes it, including the Japanese. The Japanese people come from all over the country to visit Asakusa. But most of the time, we come here for the street food. Food, you really shouldn't miss the street food here and that is number two on the list. You are spoiled for choice. There's a variety of traditional street foods as well as newer ones. We're gonna show you one thing that you should not miss. If you come to Asakusa, don't miss Ningyo Yaki. We came to Kimuraya Ningyo Yaki Honpo. This shop is located near Sensoji. They are making Ningyo Yaki fresh right here at the shop. You can buy from Eight pieces at 600 yen. They're making four different shapes. Lantern, pagoda, drum, and pigeon. All symbols are Asakusa. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I like the castella part. And the inside is smooth as bean paste. It's not overly sweet, just right, and fluffy and moist. We are going to be making a food list, 10 must-try food in Asakusa in the near future. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for that video. So right in front of Kaminari Mon, there is an Asakusa Bunka Kanko Center. Right, translates to Asakusa Culture Tourist Information Center. This is where you can come to find information on Tokyo attractions. They have English speaking staff, so no worries. But the main reason why you should come here is the 8th floor observatory. It's completely free. You can see the entire city, uh, the entire town of Asakusa. You can see the temple, Nakamise Dori, as well as Tokyo Skytree. And by the way, they're open from 9 to 10 p.m. So you can come back here, check out the night view from here. Most importantly, there are restrooms. That's right, there are restrooms on each floor in this building. So if you need to go, this is the place to come. So the next thing you can do here in Asakusa is to ride a rickshaw. Of course, it's super, super touristy, but I've done it once in the past. I think it's going to be your first time. It's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> so you can choose the course starting from 10 minutes all the way to an entire day. It's all up to you. The other thing I want to point out is that you can choose from a variety of rickshaw companies. We went with one called Tokyo Rickshaw. We really like them because number one, service is great. Number two, the drivers are very enthusiastic. They also have some bilingual uh, rickshaw drivers as well. And number three, you get free coupons after the ride that you can use to buy gifts and stuff. So um, lots of bonuses for choosing Tokyo Rickshaw. So the next thing on the list is kind of insane. Uh, there is this uh, place that sells bentos for 300 yen all the way to 750 yen. This place is called Derika Paku Paku. They used to be open 24 hours. I don't think they are anymore. But we came here to get this insane looking thing. It's this humongous giant onigiri. This giant onigiri consists of one kilogram of white rice and there is karaage, kombu, takana, and okaka on the inside. One kilogram of white rice, kind of crazy. And we're gonna go to the next place that is gonna be next on our list to eat this onigiri. We are here at Sumida Park. Uh, we really like this park. 
Uh, you can actually walk the length of the park. There's lots of places to sit and relax. And the view is pretty stunning. You can see Tokyo Sky Tree. You can see that uh, beer building, uh, AKA pool building, golden pool building. And right now it's a hydrangea season. So you see lots of hydrangeas. During the springtime, during Sakura season, it's really beautiful. And there's a bridge over there where you can watch trains go by. This is Satoshi's favorite spot in Asakusa, one of his favorite spots. And here we are, we're having an impromptu onigiri picnic. <laughs> Check out that onigiri guys, look. Looks it is. like manga. It looks like manga, I know, like a manga onigiri. It doesn't look real. Is it real? Is it real? Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's... Itadaite, may I eat? Dozo, dozo. Mm, let's, where... see, let's see what you get. Where shall I buy the maybe, maybe right in the middle. We can share this onigiri. Oh my gosh. Hmm? Immediately. What is that? Is that kombu? You, you haven't gotten to the kombu yet. Yeah, take another bite. One more bite? Yep. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Takana. Takana? Mm. Hey, it's takana. It's mustard greens. Seasoned mustard greens. Mm hmm. Mm. The texture of rice is pretty nice. Yeah, well cooked rice and um, the takana flavor is very good for rice too. Now some people may be able to eat the onigiri by themselves. I don't know who can, but we certainly cannot. And it's mm. even too big for the both of us. It takes us around two days to finish this onigiri <laughs> like for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So if you think about that, over six meals is pretty, it, it's a pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, there are like uh, four different fillings on the inside, including karaage fried chicken. Yeah, it's kombu. 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 Okay, so that's mm. kombu seaweed and takana. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. One more thing you can do while you're here at the park is to walk across the river. Uh, there's a bridge uh, built right under the train tracks. So this bridge here is called the Sumida River Walk. It's actually um, pretty new, like it was built, I think, just a little before the pandemic. The views from here are pretty spectacular. It's a little bit noisy when the trains go by, but Satoshi really likes that. The train is going by right now. Can't really see it, it's on the other side, but you guys can hear it, right? Do you know what train that is? The Liberty. The Liberty? Liberty. Where is it going? I don't know. I don't know. Many yeah. places. Many places. The Liberty train. Never heard of it. There's another train coming. What's that train? What's that train? This is a local train. So this this train goes to the final destination, Asakusa station. Oh, okay. Where is it coming from? I don't know. You it's, don't know? Okay. It's a variation. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, there is a train bound from Asakusa station. When you come to Asakusa, don't forget to visit side streets. Yeah, this is very important for your total enjoyment of Asakusa. Don't just go to the temple and call it a day. There's so much to explore here. So this side street is named Okuyama Omaeri Machi. Right, just one of the many side streets to explore. You can find some old-fashioned eateries, an old-fashioned theater, a vintage kimono shop, an old-fashioned candy store, and so much more. And you can even try out a bowl of old-fashioned shoyu ramen. The kind of ramen that you we used to eat back in the day, like here, right here. Remember I said there's lots of street food? Sorry, I had to get this karaage. This is probably my favorite place to get chicken karaage, which is Japanese style fried chicken. It's called Asakusa Chicken. And they actually won the Grand Prix gold medal for 2023. Amazing and not surprised. Oh my God, so good. Amazing. So this Shotengai or shopping street is called Hisako Dori and it's actually one of my favorite Shotengais in Asakusa. I like it because it's really old fashioned, it reminds me of the Showa period. You can find some really nice cafes like old ones as well as super modern ones. There's like a really old sukiyaki shop that we've never been to. Maybe one day we should go. And you know, it, it's really nice. I just love this atmosphere. It's very, very local. Now this street is called Lokudori and here you can find a vintage store that's kind of tucked away in the little alley. It's right here. Oh, unfortunately they're closed today, but it's a pretty cool shop to check out. 
Alright guys, next on the list is Hanayashiki. This is the oldest amusement park in the entire country. They opened in 1853 or something like that and they've been in existence for I guess almost 107 years. Wait a minute, they're not open today. Wait, I thought they were open today. And looking on their homepage, it says they, they will reopen on July 20th because oh, okay. they're they are refurbishing this one area to make a brand new area. Oh, make a brand new area? Yes, with three new attractions wow. themed on Japan. We haven't been here in ages, but I, I, I kind of like it because we don't have these um, amusement parks anymore you know in japan we used to have a lot of them this one is you know small it's in the middle of asakusa but it's also home to the scariest roller coaster in the country <laughs> you know why because it is the oldest roller coaster in existence you are here in asakusa why not drinking hoppy here is a hoppy street hoppy is this drink this is low alcohol drink pour into this shochu. This one is the flavor is like beer. So I already mixed it with the shochu. So cheers everybody. Cheers. And I understand. Mm. Why? Why? <laughs> it's very refreshing, but at the same time it has beer like flavor. If you drank all of this, you can order only shochu. It is called naka. And poa rest rest of this hoppy. You can enjoy twice. So this place is called Kurogane Yai. It's one of the multiple shops here on Hopi Street. Lots of people drinking. And in fact, this is my very first time trying Hopi. I want to try this by itself first. If it, is it weird to drink it like this? It's weird, but okay. Okay, cheers. Oh, it tastes like non-alcoholic beer. It tastes like beer. Oh, I like it. Okay, so we're gonna mix it with the shochu. Wow, this is um, cool. I've never done this before. I don't know why. I see everybody drinking here, having a good time. You can actually have food here. Uh, they have your typical izakaya food here, you know, very simple pub food. Wow, interesting. It's like, it's like mixing, well, basically you're mixing a almost non-alcoholic beer flavored beverage with shochu. It's very refreshing. It tastes like beer and shochu. I taste the shochu as well. It's actually quite delicious. I didn't know what to expect, but it is really good. This place reminds me of old cafe in France. Cafe in France. Uh, I guess so. It has a slightly different atmosphere, maybe more festive and filled with more drunk people, but I guess so. But anyway, this is something really recommend you guys try when you come to Asakusa. All right, the last thing you have to do in Asakusa is stay until nighttime and walk around the place. It's magical, guys. It has a totally different atmosphere from daytime. First of all, most of the people, the tourists have gone home. So it's a lot quieter and lets you enjoy the temple grounds in peace. The temple buildings are illuminated and it's just so, so beautiful. You can see Sky Tree in the distance also illuminated and even walking down the side streets of Asakusa, the lampposts are illuminated and giving off this very, um, you know, old, time vibe it's like being in a movie set to me so that brings us to the end of the video what did you guys think let us know in the comments down below and if we missed one of your favorites and you think that we should have included in this list let us know in the comments down as well as always give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one and if you want to see more lists like this one let us know as well thank you for watching see you in the next video bye 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 guys